Shalom, everyone. Just want to do a real brief video on everything that's kind of been going on lately. Um, for those of you who have been keeping up with the, the, the news, you'll see a lot of craziness is happening, not just in the U.S., but all over the world, you know. And even going back to 2020 with coronavirus, it kind of turned the world upside down. And a lot of people, a lot of people who are still asleep, who are not uh, spiritually awakened, who are not spiritually mature yet, really believes that the coronavirus is from the government. They really believe that it's made up. They call it the pandemic. And anyone who believes that, anyone who believes that this is from the government, anyone who believes that this is made up, you are taking glory and you're taking power away. Well, you, you're trying to take away power from the Most High Yah because he is in control of everything at all times. So when you take away something that he's doing, you give it to the devil you're taking away from you're taking away from the most high. No. The coronavirus, like I said in my other video, it is from the most high. This is we are in the last days. And these days, the most high is sifting out the two thirds. He's sifting out the two thirds from his elect. And if you really believe in your mind and your in your heart that this is a made up pandemic, this is from the from the government that just proves that you are spiritually immature and that you don't know the word because the word talks about plagues that will be upon the face of the earth in the last days okay the most high can plague the world any way he sees fit and a lot of the government is always saying you know the coronavirus is hitting the black community the hardest. Those are all lies. Because if you look at the real numbers, if you look around, we don't really know any black people with coronavirus. And I'm not saying that black people can't get the coronavirus. I'm saying Yah's elect, his chosen, are not getting the coronavirus. If you are living right, if you are in right standing, right spirit with the Most High, if he is covering you for whatever reason, you will not get the coronavirus. But those people who are sinning and living in, in sin, those two-thirds, you will see those those black people, those Latinos, those natives, um, his 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 chosen uh people get coronavirus. And so you're probably thinking, how can I be a black Hebrew Israelite and get coronavirus? You have to remember, you could be part of the two-thirds. Or if you know someone they could be part of the two thirds. Not every person uh, who is a Hebrew Israelite is part of the elect. Because two thirds have rejected him. Two thirds have come in covenant with Satan. Okay. So when you are saying the coronavirus is uh, not God, it's the government, you are taking away from his power, his glory, his honor. And you're giving it to a mere man. You're giving man too much power. You're giving Satan too much power. Satan will never ever, nor has he ever, had more power than the Most High Yah. He didn't even create himself. So he could never have more power than the Most High. And that was 2020. And as you see now, we're in 2021 and everyone was saying, Oh, I can't wait for 2021. You know, I can't wait. It's going to be so much better. I can't wait for 2020 to be over. 2020 came in even worse. I mean, 2021 came in even worse. January popped off with riots at the Capitol. Fires. Now, look, we have planes crashing. We have the ley lines being distorted. We have massive pileups, car pileups. We have all of Texas frozen, all of Texas without water, without electricity, 
all of uh, we have the southern states the hottest parts of the united states are covered in ice this is not a coincidence this is not man-made this is not harp you know you got those foolish people going around saying this is harp this is the government stop giving yas power to the devil and you know why they do that by giving these d- disaster by saying uh the government is controlling coronavirus by saying the government is controlling the weather um harp and all that it's easier to say that than to blame it on god if you blame it on god that means you have to acknowledge that god exists well this is god's fault by saying it's god's fault you're acknowledging god exists and the and the government and the devil they never want to acknowledge that god exists so they take the easy way blame the government but when you look around these are the plagues you're seeing places like the middle east covered in in ice and snow and animals frozen okay we're seeing we're seeing a massive shift and so you have to wake up spiritually you have to become mature you can't stay drinking that milk you gotta grow up and start chewing meat get the real stuff get deep and it's just so annoying to hear people saying that everything that's happening is planned it's the government it's this stop it because you're going to end up causing yourself to be part of the two-thirds and with all this going on those who have wisdom will prepare because it's only going to get worse Everyone thought 2021 would come in and would get better. Who said it was going to get better? Where where did you get this information? No one said it was going to get better. It's gotten worse. And it's only going to continue to get worse. worse. And so for those who have wisdom, those who are following Yah's word, those who are keeping up with what's going on, those people need to prepare. Like I said before in my other video, you have to store up on food. You have to stock up on food and water and supplies. I'm not talking about go to the store and buy two boxes of diapers. I'm not saying, oh, we'll just order a box of food on Amazon. No, I'm talking you need to take your money and you need to have two grocery carts full of food. You need to invest in a deep freezer. You need to stock up on hygiene supplies. Anything you can for you, your children, your family, whoever. And don't say, well, I don't have the money. You spend money on foolishness, video games, hair, uh, clothes you don't need, toys for kids you don't need. Take that money because those days are over. All that money being wasted on foolishness, the Most High is giving it to you. It's a test. Are you going to use it for foolishness or are you going to use it to secure your family? Because when... When, Because when the stuff hits the fan, what are you going to do with those toys? In fact, I watched uh, the news the other day, and a woman in Texas had to burn her children's toys just to keep warm. All the money they spent on toys, hundreds and thousands of dollars on toys, they had to sit there and watch them burn just so they can survive. Ain't God funny? Because he's saying we don't need all this frivolous stuff. You don't need it. You're wasting your money. The money that you're using for that stuff, you could be buying supplies, buying clothes and uh, uh, for your children. Because it's going to come down to it. It's going to come to a point where you're not going to be able to get clothes. You know, uh, I live in an area where our local Goodwill was broken into Because of the pandemic, no one can afford to go to the mall. No one can afford to buy the fancy name brand clothes. Our local Goodwill was broken into. Someone bust the window open and they they took clothes and whatever they needed. Because people aren't going to sit around and let their kids go hungry uh, and, and, and without clothes, without the necessities. So I'm saying now, while you have the chance, you need to stock up. If you're getting... You know, if you don't have any bills to pay or whatever, maybe put put some bills to the side for now and stock up on food and supplies because the bills are always going to be there. Okay. Those 
Bills are not significant right now. Take a room in your house and fill it, organize it with supplies. Because the Bible talks about the ten virgins who have oil in their lamp and the ten who did not. Those are representations of us today. You have those of us who are wise and preparing in advance. You can call us hoarders. You can call us preppers. You can call us whatever you want, crazy, whatever. We are the ones preparing because we can see what's about to happen. And we're warning everyone. But then you have those who are not taking heed. And they're relaxing and they're living day to day like everything's totally normal. But then when shit hits the fan, while we are prepared because we were preparing months in advance, year in advance, you're going to have those who didn't prepare begging us for help, begging us for supplies, begging us to carry the bur- their burden. And that's not how it's going to work. You have to be prepared now because it's not fair to those who worked hard and are storing up and preparing to carry their load and someone else's. It's not right. And at the end of the day, you might just get left behind because there's really no excuse not to be preparing right now. I mean, every time you get paid, whether it's an unemployment check, whether it's a food stamps, whether it's a regular paycheck or whatever, you need to take some of that money aside and store up on supplies. Each time you get paid, whenever you get income, you need to do it. So I'm telling you, we don't know how long we might have water we don't know how long we're going to have food we're going to a food shortage is coming to america look at the shelves look at how they try to spread food out make it look like they have food but i've been noticing a food shortage a lot of things aren't being replaced as quickly as they used to um prices are going up um a lot of our food is imported and the world is in chaos. Don't think that America is, is exempt. Don't think that, oh, it's just the southern states. Pretty soon, it's going to be everywhere, okay? He's getting the heathens everywhere. He's getting uh, the two-thirds everywhere, wherever they are. So don't think you're exempt because you live in this certain state. I bet a year ago, Texas thought they were good. Texas probably thought, oh, this could never happen to us. Now, look at them. No one saw this coming. So we don't know what's going to happen a month from now. We don't know what's going to happen six months from now. We don't know what's going to happen a year from now. We don't know. So why take that chance? Why, as a parent, why would you want to look your child in the face and watch them cry because they're cold, they're hungry, they're starving? Because you, as a parent, refuse to prepare. There's no excuse, you know. Take help where you can get it. Put your pride aside. If someone's trying to help you, take that help. You know? Look, all I'm saying is it's time to prepare. It's time to stop, you know, thinking everything is a joke. Stop thinking everything's a game. Stop thinking everything's just going to fly by and pass. Things are only getting worse. Revelation talks about the death angel, the four horsemen. And look around, we're seeing, we're seeing the, um, the signs. We're seeing the signs. They're coming through poisonous water. It's coming through, uh, people dying from freezing to death. Um, coronavirus, I mean, fires. We got fires in places that shouldn't have fires. We got volcanoes erupting all over. We got deserts turning into wetlands. We got wetlands turning to deserts. These are all biblical prophecies. And if you have to open your spiritual eyes to see what's going on, it's time to put the foolish, mundane stuff away. And it's time to prepare and get serious because you don't know how much time you may have. It's time to get in a remote and safe place because we already have these heathen white people, these heathen Edomites, Waiting, just waiting to attack us. They're already going around putting uh, signs and symbols on black people's cars and homes to let other KKK members know that um, how many black people live in this house. If it's a young female, if it's a 
unmarried female, single female, or if it's a one, one male, so they can know how to outnumber them. It's time out. They're plotting. They're planning. Why aren't we? Some of y'all live in homes with no weapons. Y'all need a gun. And don't talk about, oh, I got me a pocket knife or I got me a, a knife or whatever. Because you can't bring a knife to a gunfight at the end of the day. Or a bat or a stick or whatever. You may not like guns, but it may save your life. All I'm saying is it's time to get serious and time to really sit down, plan and regroup and think. What's best for my children? What's best for my wife? What's best for my husband? We got to stop pretending like the government has all this power. Yes, we know the government is wicked. We know that. Been wicked since the dawn of time. But their powers are limited. Their powers are, are limited compared to the Most High Yah. What we're seeing, this is the Most High's judgment on the earth. Judgment had to come. Ecclesiastes talks about a time for peace and a time for war, a time for laughing, a time for mourning. America has been laughing for too long. We have been rejoicing. We have been celebrating for too long. We have been living in luxury and leisure for too long. And I don't mean uh, as black people or whatever. I'm talking about as a nation in general. We haven't had any major... uh, devastating wars on our land not really you know afghanistan iraq all that that happened in someone else's land right so it didn't really affect us as much but let a war happen here let bombs drop here let our homes and our hospitals and all of our lands get blown to bits is that what it takes for us to wake up because it's not impossible it's time for america this Babylonian system, this Babylon whore, we are in our judgment. And if you're not living right, you will suffer with the heathens. Yah is giving you warning and warning and warning. And if you don't heed the warning, he's going to wipe his hands. Oh, well, he did his part. You didn't do yours. So, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward message. It's time out. It's time to stock up. It's time to prepare. You know, I know I've already said this, but something is coming soon. And we, we may not know what it is, but we know that things are going to get worse. We don't know how worse. We don't know how quickly, but we know soon. It's not a coincidence that Texas, the most prideful state in the United States, is hard hit. T.D. Jakes has his mega church there. Uh, I believe Joel Osteen, if I'm correct, I believe Joel Osteen has a mega church. All those mega churches in Texas, Texas, the Lone Star State, Texas tried to uh, annex itself and become its own country. Texas pride. Now te- look at Texas. Where did pride get them? Begging for help. No power. No food. No water. God is, he he's funny. He has a way of doing things. He has a way of waking you up. And you know what's funny? California and Texas just got, I believe a year or two years ago, just updated their whole grid system. And for what? For this. Now their grids are obsolete. They don't even work. Can't help them right now. So never think you can outsmart God. Never think that you can outbeat him or whatever it is you think you can do all i'm saying is it's time to get serious because we time is of the essence we don't have a lot of leisure time we have no leisure time actually left every day you wake up you should be planning on an escape on how to survive what to do what to buy first aid kits um don't just go, if you have babies, don't just go to the store and buy, you know, three or four cases of Pampers. Buy as many as you can in different sizes. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Buy a small deep freezer, store up meat, store up food, whatever. Dry foods, flour, sugar, you know, noodles, rice, whatever you can. 
get help from family members, come together with family members and make a, a, a plan and do something. But if you're just sitting around living life the way you have been for the past five, six, seven years, you may end up looking stupid, looking like one of those two thirds and you can't blame anyone but yourself. So that's all I want to say for this video. I mean, I could go in deeper, but that's pretty much the gist of it. You know, it's just time to get serious. Um, I'm going to try to upload another video. My next video that I'm working on, it's going to cover uh, a different topic. It's going to be about something that I've been uh, getting a lot of inquiries about. A lot of people have been sending me messages um, on my Instagram and uh, talking about the camps. And you know how I feel about the camps, you know, uh, those Israelite camp men. Um, so my next video is really just going to be covering uh, reverse roles and the backwardness of men who don't work and have their wives working. It's going to be covering because I'm seeing a lot of this in the camps. A lot of you who are familiar with the Israelite camps, you know, a lot of those men don't have jobs and their women work. And I want to cover uh, just a lot of aspects with them, how they have multiple wives, but they refuse to work. How can you be the man? How can you be the head of the house if you don't have a job? That's backwards. That's not scripture. So my next video is going to be covering uh, multiple wives. It's going to be covering the Hebrews like camps. It's going to be covering uh, men who don't work. Uh, so I don't want anyone to get in their feelings. I don't want anyone to be offended or upset. It's not personal. It's just um, a lot of people have, mostly women, women have been coming to me and asking me like what to do. My husband doesn't work or my husband wants another wife. You know, I've been getting a lot of these and I've been seeing a lot of these videos on YouTube. So I think I'm just going to chime in and talk about what the Bible says about that. Um and I, I I recommend you to watch it and watch it with an open mind and open heart and um, not with any offense, not with uh, getting angry, just to learn. Because you can't get upset with someone for simply reading the word because it's not our word, it's the most high. So when you're getting upset with someone for reading the Bible, it's like you're getting upset with the, the messenger. I can't get angry at the mailman for bringing me a bill. They didn't, they didn't write the bill. They just brought it to my house and that's all I'm doing. I'm not rewriting scripture. I'm just reading scripture and I'm giving it to you. So if you get angry at anything I say, you're really getting angry with God. And that sounds like a personal thing between you and God. If you get offended by anything I say, then maybe you need to examine yourself because I don't get offended by something that's not true. If something is said and it's true, then yeah, I, I can see why I would get offended. But that might mean I need to just work on myself, work on my situation. A lot of times people, you know, leave comments on my videos and they get angry or offended. And it's like, I'm not here to start drama. I'm not here to offend anyone. I'm just here to relay Yah's word. However you take it is your personal business. But just know there there's thousands and millions of people with your same situation. And this message is for whoever is listening. So I recommend you stay stay tuned for that video. Um hopefully that should be coming in the next week or so. I'm working on it and uh I think it's going to be a good lesson just especially for women. It's going to be good for, it's mostly for the ladies because we got to stop letting these Hebrew Israelite men lead us into sin. Okay. It's mostly, this video is going to cater towards women and we got to stop being backwards. It's going to talk about, you know, why are you as a woman going to work and this man staying home? Okay. It's going to be covering, why are you letting your husband have multiple wives? You know? So it's going to be covering uh, mostly those two topics um, because they do they do connect. And uh, I think it's going to be a good one. So enough with that. Um, that should be posted soon. Thank you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and share my videos uh, if it's in your spirit.
Shalom.